objective of this lab is to study the charging and discharging of a capacitor and also to find the time constant. This is what the graph looks like for a charging capacitor. As you can see, the maximum voltage is going to be at the value of V0. And if you take 63% of, of V0 and you draw a straight line down like this, then you can find the time constant. And this is represented by this equation here. And if you manipulate this equation by taking the natural log of both sides, you get this expression. And this is similar to the equation of a straight line, y equals mx plus b, where m, the slope, is 1 over rc. After you charge the capacitor to its maximum, you want to discharge it. And discharging a capacitor, um, the graph looks like this, where the graph is exponential. And so if you take 37% um, of the voltage and you draw a line like this, then you can find the time constant. And this graph is represented by this equation here, which if you take the natural log of both sides, you get this. And this is also similar to the equation of a straight line, y equals mx plus b, where m, the slope, is 1 over rc. So the equipment that you will need is a large capacitor of 1,000 microfarads, a stopwatch, a resistor of about 10 kilo ohms, connecting wires, a single pole and a double th throw switch, a DC source, which is 12 or less volt per uh, power supply, an electrometer, and two sheets of Cartesian graph paper. So in this, um, in this connection, the positive side of the battery is going to flow through the resistor and the capacitor, and they're connected in series back to the negative side of the battery. And the electrometer is going to be connected to the capacitor in parallel. And here, um, this is represented by a single pole double throw switch. So we can either use the DC power supply or the 9 volt battery but the connection is from the battery to one side of the single pole double throw switch and then from the switch to the resistor and the capacitor and, they're, and then they're connected in series and then from the capacitor all the way back to the switch and the electrometer is connected in, par in parallel as you can see here to the capacitor. So what you want to do is when you want to flip the switch and you, you're going to start this uh, stopwatch at the same time and you're going to see how the voltage changes and every four seconds you're going to record the new voltage. Um, when you see that it reaches the maximum voltage, you're going to turn, um, stop your stopwatch, reset it, and then flip the switch the opposite direction and then measure again every four seconds the decreasing voltage. Four seconds, eight seconds, twelve, and so forth. Discharging, four seconds, eight seconds, twelve seconds, and so forth. You're going to, uh, using the data points that you collected, you're going to make two graphs, one for charging and one for discharging. Then you're going to find the slope for each of the graphs and take the average of the two slopes, and that's going to be your experimental time, con uh, time constant. Then uh, when you find the experimental time constant, you're going to compare it to the theoretical time constant using percent error. This lab report will be based on how accurate you are in finding the time constant and also how well you answer the analysis questions. For additional investigations, you can use the oscilloscope instead of the electrometer to find the time constant.